Hi, this is Michael, and I'm reviewing the Twitter for iPad app that uh, just released like uh, today or yesterday. Um, yeah, as you can see, the iPad app is quite well designed in a way that it looks at three panes: your task where you have the timeline mentions, a list, you know, the the the, the normal Twitter uh, uh, stuff that you can do. They have the main tweet in your timeline that comes over here and additional stuff actually overlays as a layer on top of the side. If I see, I'll let you know what that means. Now quickly, it actually, when you click on any tweet, it actually loads in a very nice, uh, big, you know, viewing area way. And it doesn't disrupt too much of what you're looking at. And you can quickly let it load from the background. While, while it loads on the background, you actually can go um, and, and scroll through other tweets. Now looking at this, you can see that this stops right there and if you follow it actually it actually keep track of which tweet you're looking at and if you look at the wrong one uh, if you look at the different one you actually come back you know to a different tweet actually loads up to that now if there's no one else on that tweet it just looks up the user profile of the person it's great when you're actually tweeting somebody you've got no idea who they are and actually loads up the tweet now uh, another good feature is that when you are talking or having a conversation with someone actually loads the Twitter conversation on the side very quickly and doesn't you don't need to you know click another another button to, feel, to look at what are your conversations they are at the same time you also can drag with two fingers and you can drag so you can drag with two fingers and look at the conversations that you have very quickly you can pinch out to reply quickly to star or to retweet very quickly you don't have to actually load into the pane right then then so actually it's quite quite a nifty nifty uh, uh, feature to have you know and then uh, you can see who are you replying to how you're replying you know and, and stuff like that you can actually look at some of the tweets very quickly uh, again this is very much layered so you can actually load quite simply very nicely and you can pull down to to load the uh, additional tweets so that's the basic Twitter for iPhone stuff. So other than that, uh, you can edit your tweet this way. Test tweet, right? If you close it and you say save, uh, the next time you want to bring it up again, you go, there's a little drop button right here. And actually loads up a tweet that you wanted. Goes right there and close. You can don't save and actually not save the next time. So tweet. Same location button, some of the settings you want to click, right? You want to shrink the URL uh, that, and you want to attach any button. Uh, oops, you want to attach a picture or so, you can actually do it there. So it's not too bad, it's quite actually handy, very easy to use, right? And then uh, you can just, yeah, so close that, you do not want that. And yeah, that's a quick run out of uh, Twitter for iPad and how. Really nice inter uh, interface that they have.